What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the best free players that they've released. He doesn't have amazing stats, but he's an absolute monster. We're going to show you the best build. Let's get into it. It's Safi Sally. So Konami have actually added this free Safi Sally double booster. He's a, he's a really good option man up front, honestly. They've been releasing a lot of good free cards. I'll show you a few at the end of the video when we compare him with Endrick or even the new Luis Diaz that they had, but... I mean, he's just a really good finisher and a really good striker that plays way above his stats. I've said this for a while. If you play meta and you're playing with the same players the whole time, you can miss out on some players that just play way above their stats. Because looking at him here as an 81 rated fox in the box, he's missing a couple of key skills. He doesn't have amazing, you know, groundbreaking stats. In fact, he doesn't even hit certain thresholds for, uh, the same as other cards such as or Mario or Eto or any of those. But this is a fully beefed up version of him and he's a beast i mean i'll show you some clips here we're going to have literally about a minute or two of clips where we're going to show him there's the build with that 92 acceleration huge 95 kicking power 90 finishing tight possession at 80 and speed at 87 obviously depending on what manager that you're going to have we'll have another look at him in a second but he can also assist you know a lot of t a lot of the time people will look at a card and say his low pass is poor, his physical contact is poor. Here he's holding off Cannavaro, who's one of the best players in the game, one of the best defenders, pay to win defenders, whatever you want to call Cannavaro. He's it. He's an absolute machine. And again, it's just all about finishing. Look how quick. Pop, pop, boom. And there's a lot of cards in the game, man, that it's built in that they can't do this from their player ID. Now, I'm going to do a very in-depth video about player ID and what player ID does, how important it is. It's even gone more important since V4.2's update. But again, you can see here, very calm, very composed, and a simple finish. Obviously, you'll score that with any player, but this is probably a better example. He just literally skins and then holds off Beckenbauer. And Beckenbauer has been slightly nerfed, I think. But even at that, it's a very calm and composed finish again from a player that has no right to be as good as he is. He's playing way above his stats. This is the build 5 0 6 12 11 2. 12 into dex and 11 into lower body. Now, we've actually given him the shooting booster number two as a crafting as well, but you could give him agility. If you get the agility booster, we gave him a random one and we were happy enough with shooting, so we built the card towards this. But the thresholds that you need to hit are roughly to have 90 plus acceleration, 90 plus finishing, 80 type possession, and then you can enhance that with player skills or the booster. With cards like this, you're not going to hit the upper, upper, upper tier, such as Romario, such as Eto, such as any of the top class players like Suarez that they've released, Messi, Neymar, any of those. You're not really going to hit it, or most recently, Rummy. But honestly, he's just a beast. Now, one of my favorite players of the weeks that they ever released was Endrick. 96 overall. It's a very, very solid card of how he compares with Endrick. And Endrick was banging in a goal a game for me when I was playing with him, especially in the lower rank when you were playing in Division 5, 4, 3, and even 2 on my free-to-play squad. And of course, he's not going to compare to the daddy, right? Romario's a goal a game, if not more for me. And this is where you can kind of be put off by smaller base cards or stats in, in, in terms of it. I always say this, man. This game is not played on a spreadsheet. Stats will only go so far, yes. But it is all about how the players handle on the pitch. And if you want an example of that, Safi is definitely it. So let me know what you guys think of him. That's the best build that we have there. Those are his best key stats. Let me know what you guys think. A short and sweet video. Massive thanks for 55 subs. 55,000 subs, I should say. You guys are absolute legends. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Let me know if you've used this guy. Playing way above his stats. Very, very nice to use and doesn't even have the stats that, that prove he should be as good as he is. So let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.